I'm Joe Somebody and you're watching part 3 of my 4 part video series from my Carnival Sunshine Cruise. Make sure you've watched the first two videos of course and then in this one let's take a look at our day in Nassau and our dinner from Fahrenheit 555. After breakfast in the Lido Marketplace, we went up on deck and looked around a little bit while we were in Nassau. You know, I once saw a video from another YouTube cruise guy. Someone had asked him, what should we do in Nassau? And he said, step one, get off of the ship. Step two, turn around and get right back on it because Nassau is awful. I don't think that that's a good way to respond to a serious inquiry from a viewer. And I've been to Nassau several times and every time we go, it seems a little bit prettier. And I always enjoy my time there. We caught a little ship horn action as uh, they were doing a crew only drill there in Nassau. <laughs> If it's a drill or if it's a ship sounding off as it's leaving, I love to hear the sound of a ship horn. That should be like my ringtone or you know my text message sound. Once we got off the ship, we did a little shopping like we normally do, and I saw this beach buggy thing that reminded me an awful lot of my own Jeep. I knew I could find a way to work my Jeep into this video. And then we headed to our usual spot, the Junkanoo Beach. drinks at the Fat Tuesday bar there at the Junkanoo Beach and then I was off to swim and snorkel.
After a fun day at the beach there at Nassau, we walked back to the ship and it was time to eat lunch. And of course I had to have a couple more of those delicious tacos from the Blue Iguana Cantina. We sat out on our balcony and watched as the Carnival Ecstasy pulled out a port there at Nassau and then we went and got ready for dinner. Again, Carnival hooked us up with some complimentary reservations, so we chose to go to Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse for dinner. Fahrenheit 555 is normally $30 a person, and it's a fantastic restaurant. Jumbo Tiger Shrimp Cocktails. Salads. She got a New York strip. I got a surf and turf. Then we had caramelized apples and cheesecake for dessert. The food there at Fahrenheit 555 is absolutely awesome. After dinner we went back to our cabin to get into some more comfortable clothes and had a little bit of wine out on the balcony. A little wine. Vino. Then we headed to the Limelight Lounge to see the Punchline or Comedy Show featuring Ken Rogerson. We were a little bit late getting to the show so we really didn't get very good seats. The stage kind of juts out into the room and they're seating like around behind the stage with TVs on the wall and then they're seating even way you know back towards the door like near the bar area where it's pretty noisy and there's TVs on the wall back there. There's a couple obscure placed poles throughout the, the lounge and it was just very difficult to see and very difficult to hear. Nonetheless, with a couple cocktails and him being a pretty good comedian, we had a good time and if nothing else, we learned to always get to the comedy club a little early. Also, don't sit in the front or they're going to pick on you. When the comedy show let out, we went back to our cabin, ordered up some room service, and chilled out in front of the TV. And that's all for part three of this four-part series aboard the Carnival Sunshine. Coming up in the next video is our day in Freeport, which we actually spent on board the ship. We wanted to stay on board and check out all the fun activities, including the pool and the slides. And if you can believe it, even more yummy food. Make sure you hit the like button down there and share this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can always know when I make a new video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Joe Somebody, and I'll see you in the next video video.